Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about log analyzer in Jira. So for the past few days or I should say a few weeks, my Jira instance was misbehaving. It was getting crashed on its own. I used to restart the service and it was working fine for a while but uh, the problem is something else and I thought I will uh, probably record a video while I'm doing uh, troubleshooting. So today let us first take a look at the log analyzer which is a nice way to, uh, f to, to basically understand if there is something wrong with your Jira instance. So you need to go to Jira administration on top and then uh, if you go to the system tab, the last tab here, you have uh, a section on the left hand side called uh, system support. Now if you click on uh, the option, the, the third last option, troubleshooting and support tools, you have a few things here that uh, will help you when you are doing uh, troubleshooting. So as the name suggests, troubleshooting and support tools. The first one is uh, instance health. Now if you look at uh, this particular uh, section you can see that you have uh, some green checks like uh, supported platform database file system indexing so if one of these uh, checks are causing or maybe if you see not a green tick it means there is something uh, possibly wrong uh, so you can of course take a look at uh, the details of uh, uh, dif different checks and i think it is a good start to understand if uh, maybe your uh, uh, database is causing some problem. The second option is the log analyzer which I wanted to show you today. Now log analyzer is basically um, it, it is basically a feature in Jira where you can uh, run this log analyzer. I mean I can do this uh, again for you. Now if you click on uh, let us say scan your standard log file will get uh, analyzed or you can also specify the file location if you know the file location of your log maybe you want to analyze something else maybe Catalina uh, you can specify the location or you can just select standard and you when you when you click on this scan button it will scan the f the, the log file for you and it will give you some uh, pointers some suggestions about uh, uh, maybe if there is a warning if there is an error what you should be doing by pointing you to the documentation or you know some online resources and the good thing is that you can also do this on a regular basis so if you select periodic scan you can uh, basically uh, receive those recommendations uh, on a regular basis and uh, you can specify the frequency and then you will prob probably get an email now when you select here uh, let us say you will scan your standard log file and if you click on the button then you will uh, uh, notice that uh, this log uh, uh, analyzer will analyze the log for you and depending upon of course uh, the size of your uh, of your log file it can take a few minutes or maybe more than few minutes and it will uh, give you a report and let us wait for uh, it to finish I, I really want to show you how it looks like so if you're new to, if you're new to Jira administration I think uh, this uh, this troubleshooting and support tools is a good start while this is running let us take a look at uh, the third option get help now here you have few options like uh, you, uh, like you can read the documentation or you can read the documentation about some troubleshooting articles or you can ask a question on the community or you can also um, raise support ticket with Atlassian and whenever you raise a support ticket with Atlassian they will ask you to or they most likely they will ask you to provide a support zip. Now this support zip if you do it from this interface or like if you click on uh, customize zip it will uh, basically collect all the log files and uh, some, in, some impo imp important information like uh, uh, <coughs> Jira configurations, Tomcat configuration, health check and so on. So basically 
if you want to include these uh, files and you want to send it to Atlassian, if they ask you, you can of course click on the create zip and it will uh, uh, create a zip, a compressed file with all those log files and important information. And uh, this support zip will be analyzed by, Atl by Atlassian when you raise a support ticket. So this is something that you can do. But if you are trying to do it on, on your own, you can always uh, analyze the log and uh, uh, the log is still, uh, the log analyzer is still running. It says 131%, uh, it's a bit weird. But anyways, let, let us wait for it to uh, finish and uh, let us see the output of uh, the log analyzer. So as you can see here that uh, the log analyzer didn't find any uh, any problem with uh, this particular uh, instance of Jira and uh, it is actually a good sign but usually when you are working on uh, let us say a big instance of Jira uh, I recommend you to, to also set up this periodic scan so that you can receive the um, suggestions uh, uh, maybe links to different articles on a regular basis by email and this is something that you can do if you are not sure what is causing problem with your Jira instance. So this is probably the first place where you should be looking. Uh, if this is not really helping you can of course log into your server and you can uh, uh, maybe uh, analyze your log yourself uh, but right now if I don't see any problem here in the log analyzer, the next step, the next step that I will do is I will uh, probably uh, take a look at uh, uh, my Catalina file where I can uh, probably find something. Maybe it is something to do with the memory or maybe uh, my, uh, I mean, on the server where this Jira is hosted, maybe there is something else. Maybe the server itself is, uh, uh, is actually a problem. So, this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope uh, you learned something new today and uh, you found this video useful. Thank you very much.